so this is um this was made by my friend um i guess it's desert bluffs pirate radio um i don't what happened was he was looking for he likes a welcome to night vale and he was looking for the, if they ever did the desert bluffs one and it hadn't at all <clears throat> they hadn't done one at all um he was checking um all over the place i guess but he like looked on their things and um after he put it up, uploaded it online, it was, I mean, it's super fucking funny. And then, I mean, dozens of episodes of Desert Bluffs was uh, <clears throat> uh, backdated. I don't know how to say anything to you. A lot of people saw it. It's the same thing for anything you want to say. Um, it was up before those, and then those came up like they'd been up the whole time. So I don't know what you think is going on, <clears throat> but it, it feels like... Um, it's so much easier to do trippy things if you're not an asshole and a fink. But, um, you know, it seems like Team Four Star all over again. You know, it wasn't Masako X and those people who had the t Dragon Ball Z abridged. Um, the really funny ones early on. And all they ever do is stupid, fucked up, recycled otaku jokes about shit. Like, we're not making jokes anymore. We're into the idea that we can do um, Team Four Star jokes. And references to old episodes. By the time you get into what, like, they're going to fight Cell. He's doing Popo's training, but it's from Goku's perspective. And it's just a reference to an old, oh, inside joke for shit. And no one gives a fuck if they saw it you're just pissed off that they did that for anything going on so it doesn't make any sense to not think that that it does um it makes sense for you to wonder about how many people really are a lot more upset about every situation that i'm just going to put this up and um take probably take it down a little bit but this is published online a while ago um Anyway, um, it had the cool. It was called "This Is Desert Bluffs." Um, there wasn't a name for it now. So, like, what happened was "Welcome to Desert Bluffs" showed up all over the place. Um, it was an original name. I thought that made more sense to do, but it's a lot funnier anyway. Um, I don't listen to Night Vale anymore. I listened to it some of it for a while, <clears throat> but like, I don't know what you think is of and like for the what's and where they go. But, um, there's a whole world of different ways to get material and things, um, for what you're doing. So, I don't know, I thought maybe you guys would like to hear This Is Desert Bluffs. Decadence, sure in life, that this was gone on in for. Sure so believe that this wasn't gone. This life, this timing, sure on over. This timing, gone on back. This life, that gone on in for. Sure was gone. This life, this gone on overture. This life. This crest was gone on in for. Sure in my life, this timing taken back again. This life, sure in, gone on over. This life, this life, this life, this life. Desert Bluffs access more, this once world over. Dying without a cause, made illegal, sure enough. Pretend not to be dead while it's happening, and I'm sure you'll be all right. M moreover, no one believed that last sentence. It was just a, a typo, if you can believe it. On the, uh, the, the paper I'm reading, it's obviously not a real piece of paper, it's just a newspaper. But we don't even have those anymore, do we? I'm not confused anymore, thanks. Sure, in other news, we're opening a new water park here in Desert Bluffs. And sure enough, it's a lot harder to figure out what that means, exactly. Without any lakes or streams or slides, really, that don't melt or light children on fire once they sit down on them and get a little friction going. Sure enough though, this life gone on, on in for was too much, so don't worry about silly things like that, and stay tuned for a special broadcast from our newest reporter. He's sure enough standing by. What? What do you mean he's not available? That's surefire embarrassing for me. Maybe we ought to cut to some music or something clever like that, sir? Ma'am? Sir? Sure, I'll, okay, I can, mm-hmm, all right, I can, I can do that. Ladies and gentlemen of Desert Bluffs, my, my dear readers, as it turns out, the public library is not on fire, so 
Good to know. Also, more on this news report. This life gone on over into the last one was here before this last one again. We lost our rights to excrement in public places for dogs, so sure enough, cats have picked up the slack. There's all sorts of people walking their cats around without leashes or with leashes, and they're pooping just about everywhere, but sure enough, there's always the telling kitty litter as evidence everywhere people, and I do mean cats, leave it. Uh, perhaps you should know this, but our first broadcast is rumors to have been, uh, phoned in, and I can assure you, we don't not have a phone in the office, so surely there was probably a phone call or two here at Desert Bluff's per public broadcasting studio about our last broadcast, I'm sure. In less than ideal settings, this time taken by ages, left or gone on in for, this was ours, sure in, and more motivation to hear, and now, we broke ourselves on the rocky cliffs below. Rocky cliffs below? Who even... Oh, this is silly me. No one even is writing any of this down, so I'm just some sort of a blunderhead, more than likely. Oh, Tom, you devil you. You get back to the program. I know, I know. So here we... Say. Also, the nationwide ban, ban on rhyming set forth by Night Vale, our great capital, or sister city. I didn't think we had a capital outside of Desert Bluffs, but... All the buildings now seem to have holes in the ceilings, and most of the people inside them get cooked alive. That's not true, but I have no idea why someone told me to say that the capital was Nightville. Sounds kind of awesome, really. I'm not sure what they do, exactly, for their dog park, if, well, our dog park at least, is only ever open from sun up to sundown, so sure, any time of day, but, well, I'm pretty sure we don't actually have a dog park, now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure cats were always welcome, though, so if they wanted, don't worry about it too much. Lesson for our worlds, we have a lot more to discuss in broadcasting lessons this Saturday if I'm really supposed to be grooming my replacement for a hostile Life Edge deathmatch takeover on the baking savanna over town. Sure and fire, I'm probably just going to skip that last part and see how well you listen to this broadcast to study like you're supposed to. Have fun on the savanna, though. If nobody shows up, Wait around a while. I'm sure they'll just a little bit delayed. Sure in time, this next piece was submitted by one of our qualified listeners. Privileged to listen to our pilot broadcast. Pilot means special, I'm pretty sure, so I don't know what it means to say anything, but sure enough, here it goes. Well, that was uninspiring. I wonder how long it took for them to write that one down doesn't even rhyme or anything nefarious like I thought death notes were supposed to do. Damn. Also, I just realized I have no idea how to end that note exactly. You know that, though. I did... I did listen to last week's broadcast, and I've gotta say, nobody knows what the heck you're even talking about. Nobody knows why you think there's anything but friendly neighborhood go-between. On this and for to the last one, sure in that, this was gone, and for sure, that this life never lived on and for was broken down and segmented out. Okay, listen up, Cecil. That's some pretty nefarious note writing. Are you serious? I can't even seem to believe myself any longer. But this sort of broadcast is so very uninspiring and leaves far too much to chance, and I can't believe you don't know how happy I am that nobody in Desert Bluffs really thinks that they even want to be there any longer, and they're more than likely intercepted! Sorry, Claus, but my boss just shut off the radio. I'm not going to get in trouble for this later because it's really me, Jack, so sure enough, here you go. I hate Desert Bluffs and everything about it, and it should probably just get over itself already and die or something. That was a lot closer to scary than before. Hi, I'm Tom. No more notes. I'm pretty sure that I can't even get back into the swing of with, with, with these sorts of things. I'm pretty sure I wasn't Jack back in time, but that would be scary to not know about something like that. I'm pretty sure I don't remember where I came from, but it was probably where birds go, after all their hard work cooking pastries, out in the sun, lasting forever under and on into the next. Well, that was very terrifying, but I think we know that they slipped both broadcasters' names into there. Obviously that note went on a lot longer than I thought, because I can't even really read, duh. I'm pretty sure nobody knows what that means again, but more or less, this is the same message as before. Night Vale is awesome and so much better than before, you know? Ron here again. 
Uh, no, that's, that's my name. Don't you worry about it. We'll check the record just as soon as our city hall gets around to lifting the ban on substitute teachers coming to school this Wednesday. Can you believe it? They're gonna have to get some bagged lunches, I'm pretty sure. And that's all she wrote this once. Again, power housing display of aptitude and access grantable awareness for all our love and life again. Cecil, you need to drop dead already. This is getting insane. Nobody knows whether it's really me talking or not, and just because you're some great big uppity star on public radio station nobody even listens to, doesn't mean you have the right to bully me, Tom and Jack, around every day. But what? You want, you want to see it? That's, that's pretty hard to do. See, they, they told me to scribble it all out as I go. I'm, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to just black out the whole thing just like this at the, uh, the appropriate intervals. No, I'm pretty sure you don't know that, asshole. Go play with your radio guns or something and <laughs> leave the broadcasting to the professionals. You're kind of throwing off my groove, jackass. Also, in lively weather we're having, nobody wants to tell me why we're not going to report on the weather like seems to be the custom. But uh, This is more or less because I'm pretty sure there isn't really even such a thing as weather. And Night Vale's pretty gay with their whole pretending people even care about the weather business. It's always lame in Night Vale anyhow, and nobody even has to believe that people even want to live there. Sure in life, I need a break from broadcasting, and since there's no weather report to go to, uh, we're going to listen to birds chirping for at least a while.